Hi everybody, it's Willow from Willow Moon Mystical. I hope everyone is having a great new year so far. So come along with the new year. Um, comes um, the month of February to follow, which is the month of Imbolc. And Imbolc is um, an Irish Sabbath, and it is for, or a Celtic Sabbath, and it is to honor the goddess Bridget. And Bridget is... Um, she is the goddess of inspiration and the poets and uh, healing and the living wells and forged in fire and so many home and heart and so many other beautiful, wonderful things. So it, Bridget is my goddess and we are going to be, um, I will be sitting um, my inbox altar, but through the month of January, I like to create the elements for my altar, beginning with my altar cloth. So if you remember, back in December, I was showing you where I had found these at the dollar store. And they come in a pack of two, and I had bought two packs. And I had painted one for, I mean, it was back in um, October, right before Samhain. That I found these and I had painted one with reds and a little bit of green and oranges and yellows for my Samhain altar and I said I'm going to save one and do one for my Imbolc altar so I started to do that since the video don't allow me time to paint the whole um, the whole altar cloth I already started doing that and then I'm going to finish it with you so this is what I've taken and um I'm going to show you now the one that um, I'm doing for my inbox altar. So here is what I have. Here are my, um, and I am just using um, paints from um, Michaels. I got this from Michaels. It was like $5. It's watercolors, and I love it because it really lets me to paint this fabric. So what I am doing here is I'm taking green in the middle for the leaves. And then I'm taking a little bit of yellow back through them to give it a little bit of the spring green. And then the outline of the flower is purple for my precious violets that I had abundance of in Ohio, but I don't have so much of here in Florida. And then, but it is, you know, it is uh, an official spring flower. So that's the reason why with the oncoming of Imbolc, which is, you know, showing the return of the sun and spring will soon be on the way. That is the reason why I've chosen this flower. And then I am taking a lighter green, even though it actually appears to be around the same color green, to finish off to represent leaves around the violet. And on the inside of the violet, I'm using yellow to represent the inside of the violet. So the way I'm doing this is pretty much the same as like I done with my other, um, you got to keep your brush and your paints wet. And then I just gently, that water will just, that water, and you want to keep it, you want to keep it to where it's like really colored water. And the fabric will just soak those colors in. Now sometimes you will get bleeding. And if you do, that's okay because you can let it dry and go back over it. You can always find, you know, touch it up. The bleeding, I really don't mind because it gives it more of a tie-dye effect. And, you know, this is a labor of love. This is something that I am putting a lot of energy into. But at the same time that I am painting this, I am putting intention into it of the things I want to welcome in during the spring. You know, as the spring comes in. I am putting intention in of things that I'm wanting to plant and I'm watch I'm wanting to attend to and watch it flourish over the summer and come into a harvest later on in the year. So, you know, painting my altar cloth allows me to put that magical intention in with it as well. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking this inner green here and I'm just rubbing it in on the leaves, painting up the leaves. Like I said, you've got to keep your paint and your brush wet because the fabric really will draw in, you know, your paint. And like I said, the paint from Michaels, that Altus Law, is the one I found to be the best so far for doing this because it's not—it's like your um, 
it's like you're actually dying you know you're dying um, the fabric with the watercolor paint so there you can see how I how I filled that in and then I wanted what I want to do let me define that edge a little bit more So here's like the vein running up through it. And here in between, as you can see where it's like a, a looser weave, that's where I'm taking the yellow. And I'm kind of like just working that in there. Allowing it to bleed in with that green to become like a spring green. A spring green. See that? And it will soak in there and it will look more like a spring green so it's like a brand new leaf coming forward and I'm going to do the same over here with this one I'm going to paint in that green so some of the upcoming things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a video on creating Bridget's cross and Bridget's dolly and then um, Bridget's mantle now one of them that I was trying to do that uh, I have been reminded of recently that I had long forgotten about and that's bunting and that's creating an embark you know an embark string of flags to hang up over the altar or to decorate in a room with and I thought you know what um, not only do I have my embark altar for at home but I also have my one for in my shop and so I thought about creating a uh, a string of flags to hang up there and because that one will be around for most of the month of February you know whereas the one at home will be up for the week or so of in bulk so you can see where I have filled all that in I'm going to go back over and touch back up this one And then Bridget's Cross, you know, um, Bridget's Cross is where she sat up on the floor of when her father, and this is supposed to be after she was made into a saint, she sat up on the floor of where her father was dying, and she made, as she told him about the Trinity, you know, of the Godhead, she weaved across all of the rush that was laying up on the floor so now it's supposed to be that you we create a, one of her crosses every year and we um we hang it in our home until the next in bulk to bring her protection and her blessings into our homes now as you can see i'm just going in and filling in a little bit of the yellow and Looks like some of the green are going to try to bleed into that, but that's okay because I can go back over that at a later time. There we go. See, so and bleed that out a little bit. So here, I'm taking the purple. Well, I don't have rush here, you know. That's um, more or less grows in Ireland. So what I like to use to create mine is I use a dried corn husk. Um, they, they rip apart really easily for me. They have about the same thickness and they just work really well for me of all the material I've tried in using Bridget's Cross. It is the corn husk that I really enjoy working with the most. And I also make my Bridget's Dolly a la her. Now the Brigadol, um, you know, where you give her a place, make her a bed along the fireplace. The little girls of Ireland used to parade her, you know, through the town. Well, I created a Brigadol, and I just set her. I don't have a hearth in my home, so I cannot create her a bed there. But I do set her up on my altar, you know, and that's where she, she sets throughout in block. And afterwards, she, that's her permanent home. She stays there from one, one in bulk to the other. And then at the end of in bulk, I retire her. And I will create another dolly. But um, here you go. You can see where 
program. And when I create my dolly, what I like to do is I like to write down, you know, a few intentions. And as I, I stuff her head, I will place that on the inside. And sometimes I'll place herbs for the intention along with some crystal chips. And you do it that way as well. You can see where the green really bled through here. Let's see if we can clear that up a little bit. Here we go. You know, these don't have to be perfect. Now, where I used the darker green, the darker green on the inside, I'm now going to take the lighter green to do these outer leaves with. And these represent um, the leaves of the violet. This is just really, you know, an inexpensive activity that you can do to increase. And if you can't find the polyester little doilies like i said the, the dollar tree used to carry them and i love those things i created ultra cloth out of those and i could always find different designs to put it in them but um they stopped carrying them and now they carry the paper well if you remember at yule i used the paper and i um on the field i painted holly and poinsettia leaves and then I was able to find a design going around it to look like apples and then all from the apples uh -oh, all from the apples I was able to paint some um, pine cones and that worked all in good it really did I was not I would not be able to save it to the next season I would have to create a new one come the winter solstice again but that's okay with this one I will be able to use year after year i used a little bit of the darker green but that's okay uh year after year for in bulk and that's another reason why i love creating my own ultra cloths i can go out and buy any ultra cloth out there i just think they're set more magical when you make them yourself and then you can set your intentions into them and you know that's what i do when i create mine then i save it year after year as, and use it as many times as I possibly can. So as you can see, I'm pretty well happy with what I created here. I am. Um, I want to put a little bit more yellow. Let me get that cleared out into the leaves, and I'm putting them in. See where it looks like it's got these little recesses, and I'll just mix that in with the green, and that gives a little bit more depth, like it's spring green. I am no artist by any shot. That would be my husband. But I do love watercolors, and I am a seamstress. I have been my whole life. So here, this just, you know, I love working with fabric. I love working with um, with watercolors. So this just lets me bring that all in together. I really enjoy doing this. I enjoy creating my own. Like I said, I can use this year after year. You know for in bulk and I can also use this for a stair you know if I don't have time or if I don't wish to repaint a new one for a stair then I can use this one as well I can use this one for that season as well but there you go I have taken this little dually inexpensive dually I got at the Dollar General and I have taken it and I have turned it into this beautiful in bulk altar cloth. And this would be the centerpiece underneath underneath the altar that I set for in bulk. So I hope you join me. I hope you join me in making your own. And put your intention of what it is that you would like to plant throughout plant and sow throughout um, the spring season and nurture it throughout summer to bring it to a full harvest later on within the year. Um, if you will, please subscribe to my channel. Ring that notification bell so you can be told about upcoming videos. Share if you will and leave a comment because I really, really like to hear what you have to say. And, um, Stay forever magical. Keep a watch out for my other in bulk um, videos as they will be coming up pretty quickly, you know, all throughout the month of January.
with the final pour of the altar. Um, as I set it for in bulk. So there you go. There's my altar cloth. I hope you um, you make one of your own and enjoy the process. Intensify it as you do it, and you can have a little keepsake treasure to use year after year. Thank you for joining me. Always stay magical and blessed be.